Because if moral relativism is true, think about your positions on battered wives, abused children, homosexuality, racism. If moral relativism is true, then the opposite of what you believe on those points is equally true. And you just can't live that out, can you? In a world where morality is often tied to power, what happens when the powerful change? An atheist asked Cliff Nechtel a thought-provoking question, if Nazi Germany had won World War II, would we even be discussing Christianity and moral justice? Would the justice of the world be defined by the victors, regardless of what's right or wrong? Join us as we explore this challenging question and discover how Cliff Nechtel responds to this tough moral dilemma. Can morality exist independently of power and belief? Let's find out. But does moral justice come from some belief that is merely upheld by, arm, by the armed forces of the West or from some god? What if, not, what if Nazi Germany had won the Second World War? Then we wouldn't be hearing anything about Christianism. Then that would be the justice of the world. Okay, I disagree. I think the evidence of the gulags of Stalin, the evidence of Mao Zedong's prison camps in China is that those guys could not stamp out faith in God, faith in Christ. And yes, the martyrs piled up their bodies, they piled up the martyrs' bodies, but human beings still kept on coming back. I know there's a God in heaven, and I'm going to believe in this God, and I don't care how much you try and enforce your atheism and slaughter us, at our hearts, we know that God is real. And I'm convinced that if the Dred Scott decision was still in for, in, enforced in America today, I'd be fighting that with everything in me because my conscience convicts me there are moral absolutes. And one of those moral absolutes is justice and racism is unjust. Therefore, racism is absolutely evil because there's a real value of justice created and defined by God who exist before human beings. That's why there's a moral absolute. And guess what? Yeah. Every single one of my moral relativist friends lives that way. Every yes, single one of my moral... because they were raised in a Judeo-Christian culture. Even outside that Judeo-Christian culture. Every single one of my moral relativist friends, although they say morality is relative, they say, but Cliff, you and I really do know what's right, don't we? It is absolutely impossible for you guys to live out moral relativism. Because, because if moral relativism is true, think about your positions on battered wives, abused children, homosexuality, racism. If moral relativism is true, then the opposite of what you believe on those points is equally true. And you just can't live that out, can you? It's impossible. It is impossible to be a consistent moral relativist. I don't care what your position is. Think about your position on abortion, homosexual rights, battered wives, abused children. Now, if you're a moral relativist, you have to acknowledge the opposite of what I believe is equally true. It seems he is questioning the source and foundation of moral justice, particularly in relation to the role of belief systems and the outcome of historical events. I would like to address your concerns and shed light on the Christian perspective regarding moral justice. From a Christian viewpoint, moral justice is not merely upheld by the armed forces of the West or any human institution. Instead, it is rooted in the nature and character of God. Christians believe that God is the ultimate source of moral values and justice. His nature is perfectly just, and He calls humanity to live in accordance with His moral standards. While it is true that historical events can shape the prominence of certain beliefs, Christianity's foundation is not dependent on the outcome of World War II or any other historical event. Christianity predates any human institution or political system, and its core principles remain unchanged regardless of the historical context. The Christian understanding of justice is not limited to the earthly realm. Christians believe in a divine justice that surpasses human systems and extends into eternity. Even in the face of earthly injustices, Christians trust in the ultimate justice that will be administered by God in the final judgment. Regarding the hypothetical scenario of Nazi Germany winning World War II, it is important to note that Christianity's credibility is not contingent upon the geopolitical outcomes of history. If Nazi Germany had triumphed, it would not invalidate the truth claims of Christianity. While certain historical events may influence the prominence or visibility of a belief system, they do not determine its inherent truth or validity. 
Christianity teaches that justice and morality are universal principles that transcend temporal circumstances. The moral values espoused by Christianity are based on the belief in the inherent dignity and worth of every human being, as all people are created in the image of God. These values include love, compassion, forgiveness, and respect for human life, among others. Furthermore, Christianity emphasizes personal responsibility and accountability. It calls individuals to live justly, regardless of the prevailing political or social climate. Christians are called to be agents of justice and to work towards the establishment of a more just and equitable society. While Christianity has been influential in shaping Western civilization, it is not limited to any specific culture or geographical region. It is a global faith, with followers from diverse backgrounds and cultures. The universality of Christianity is a testament to its enduring message and its ability to transcend temporal and cultural boundaries. In conclusion, Christianity teaches that moral justice is derived from the nature and character of God. It is not dependent on the outcomes of historical events or the dominance of any particular geopolitical power. The credibility and truth of Christianity are not contingent upon earthly victories or defeats. Christians believe in an ultimate divine justice that transcends human systems and extends into eternity. Christianity's moral values are universal and applicable in all contexts, calling individuals to live justly and work towards a more just and compassionate world.